Hi there, I'm Evan Jacover, and I'm just watching this microphone till Cookie gets back from the bathroom. I'm coming! Playing alone, I see. What else is new? And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... The Mime Weather Channel. The weather channel that will really pull you in with an invisible rope. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get ready to the question. One. Okay, to get things started, time for another question. I'm sorry about all the noise. My cleaning lady is vacuuming right now because apparently it couldn't wait till tomorrow when I'm out of the office. Anyway, speaking of loud, obnoxious noises, tell me, what do loud, obnoxious sound waves like the ones coming from my cleaning lady's vacuum travel through the fastest? Solids, liquids, gases, or sound waves always travel at the same speed? In general, sound waves travel fastest through solids. Oh, I guess she's done. All right, Miranda, next time, could you... Hey, where'd she go? Steve, the sound guy, did you see a cleaning lady leave here? Uh, Cookie, we haven't had a cleaning lady in over 40 years. Wait, you've been working here for over 40 years? Uh, man, Steve, the sound guy, that's really pathetic. Yeah... Say hello to, I trust Angry Penguin 69's opinion. The logo of which department store could accurately be called One Star by Yelp reviewers? Kohl's, Macy's, JCPenney, or Nordstrom? Macy's logo consists of one big red star. But it's one heck of a big red star. In fact, I'd give their big red star four stars out of five. If it were inside a Super Target logo, I might even consider giving it five out of five. Dance with me, Disco 3. How about War Nout? If military combat drones served the same purpose as honeybee drones, what would happen during a drone strike? Drones stinging enemy combatants? Drones making honey for enemy combatants? Drones barfing on enemy combatants? Or drones having sex with enemy combatants? Honeybee drones don't sting, they don't make honey, they're pretty much just around to have sex. Which would explain why most drone strikes only last a few seconds. Next, these drawings are foul-mouthed, and it's time to draw up a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven titles, and for each one, you tell me if it's the name of a piece of art in the Museum of Modern Arts, or the name of a South Park episode. If it's MoMA, press the left arrow. If it's South Park, press the right arrow. We good? Here we go. Two children are threatened by a nightingale. Two guys naked in a hot tub. War is no nice. Eek a penis. Adjustable wall bra. Cat orgy. Make love, not Warcraft. I respect your authority. And just like an episode of South Park, most modern art is created in under six days. Five fingers! Up next, squares dancing. How would I show you on the dance floor that I am rhythmically gifted for an entire circadian rhythm cycle? By doing the robot for 8 hours, by doing the sprinkler move for 12 hours, by doing the shopping cart move for 24 hours, or by doing the fishing rod move for 48 hours. The circadian rhythm is a full 24 hour period. And after the 24 hour mark, I pull out the running man. That's when things really get nuts. 
That'll bring an end to our first round. And you're sitting pretty for someone so ugly. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. And remember, our wrong answer to the game is still out there waiting to be picked. It's time. I call this one a trunk full of junk. Okay, just need to slowly sip from this comically full cup of scalding hot coffee here. Hey, Danny! Shaha! One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me! Out of my way, Danny. I'm going on vacation to the Iberian Peninsula. Ah, uh, okay. What countries are you going to visit on the Iberian Peninsula? All of them. Which of these places will I not see on my trip to the Iberian Peninsula? Spain, Portugal, Andorra, or Belgium? <laughs> Spain, Portugal, and Andorra are all on the Iberian Peninsula. Belgian isn't. Which is too bad. I was hoping to get a Belgian waffle. Hey, careful with those high-calorie treats, Billy. The weight will go directly to my hand. <laughs> yeah, I'll do the jokes around here, Nister. Question 7. And now, Gwen at work. Which No Doubt song is no doubt the closest to the title of E.B. White's classic children's novel? Don't Speak, Just a Girl, Bathwater, or Spiderwebs? Correct answer, show yourself. E.B. White is known for writing Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web is, of course, the story about people being surprised a pig could holla back. Shh, don't say a word. Because you just won a mime umbrella from the Mime Weather Channel, where there's 100% chance of no talking. Today's wrong answer of the game gets you another 8,000 on top of your current score. Sweet. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, May I introduce this food is delicious. If you've been poisoned by the poissonnier at a fancy restaurant, who almost killed you? The head chef, the pastry chef, the sauce chef, or the fish chef? At fancy restaurants, the fish chef is called the poissonnier. At less fancy restaurants, he's called the guy who heats up the filet of fish Next up... Wherefore fart thou? Say there were a series of children's potty training books based on the works of William Shakespeare. Which of these titles would tell the story of someone trying to get on a throne? Romeo and Juliet, Osmello, Antony and Cleopatra, or As You Wipe It? Antony and Cleopatra, based on Antony and Cleopatra, would tell the story of a troubled romance while Antony attempts to take the throne of the Roman Emperor. And while it's a great educational book, nothing helps a child learn to go number two like Richard the Turd. Why not try... Freedom! The Presidential Medal of Freedom is the highest civilian award in the United States. According to the White House, the award recognizes those who have made an especially meritorious contribution to the security or national interests of the United States, world peace, cultural or other significant public or private endeavors. Who has not yet won the highest civilian award in America, the prestigious Presidential Medal of Freedom? Barry Manilow, Julia Child, Dave Thomas, founder of Wendy's, or Mr. Rogers? <laughs> Julia Child, Dave Thomas, and Mr. Rogers all won Presidential Medals of Freedom, all from George W. Bush, by the way. No Barry Manilow. <laughs> But I'm sure he will win one somewhere down the road. And the president will say, Barry, this one's for you. Looks like you made it. And Barry will say, thank you, Mandy. Copacabana. Welcome to the attack. 
Ah, I see you don't need me for anything. It's all yours. Disguise the limit. What disguise do they wear? Good luck. Reminds me, I bought hundreds of dollars worth of wigs and prosthetic noses, so the next time I go to the grocery store, I can go through the free samples line several times. <laughs> Suckers, I am saving so much money this way. You don't have